I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 37 FLH Sabre Cobalt Fifth Wheel by Forest River. It's a five slide front living model. Uh, this is actually a new floor plan from Sabre. Um, it is an awesome bath and a half front living. And I'm going to try to show you some features of this. This also has newer colors from Sabre. Uh, so if you research this product, you might see some things on this one that are different. So we're going to go inside first. On the outside here, you'll, you'll see the floor plan name, 37 FLH. Like I said, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna go in. We enter into the kitchen, obviously, as most front livings do, but we're gonna actually go to our right and go up to the living room. So, upon entry, our steps here going up to our living room area. Two slides here in the living room. Posing slides with trifold sofas. I'll just kind of give you a full look of this before we talk about it in detail. Theater seats here facing the TV. So three seating areas. Again, theater seats here directly across from our TV. Two trifold sofas, so you've got plenty of extra sleeping here if you need it. Um, very open, of course, up here with opposing slides. In the front, a really cool entertainment center. Got the fireplace built in. A huge countertop area. Lots of storage built into that, as you can see uh, on both sides of that. So great storage here for... Uh, any type of gaming stuff or movies, video, things like that, but also obviously extra sleeping things. Um, things for making beds or whatever you want to do, you've got extra space up here. So that's there. The TV does pull out. You can change the angle if you wanted to. Storage on both sides of the TV. you got an accent wall behind it. There's accent lighting throughout this unit. You can see accent lighting actually behind the TV, uh, behind the, I guess I'll call it the, the crown molding at the top. And then around the crown molding around the edges of the roof, uh, there is also LED accent lighting. Uh, there so you notice the led lighting throughout lots of light in this unit uh, lots of windows so it feels very open now color changes in this unit compared to what saber had been using we have some darker accents on the um, actually the cabinetry handles uh we'll look at some new window treatments here in a minute but a couple different things some of them may be very subtle that maybe if you don't look at them much you might not know but there definitely are some changes in this unit so again two trifold sofas theater seats up here on the windows i do want to show you my new shades that saber's using Really cool. It's kind of like a day and night together. You can position it where you want it as a day or a night shade, um, but gives you flexibility. Plus it's cool, it's different. Uh, so they're using that now in their units. All right, so that's the front living room area. This is a view from that living room walking toward the steps of the kitchen area. So this is where it changes. Uh, front living's obviously very common. Well, everybody has one. Uh, this is a bath and a half. That's, that's not unique in and of itself either. But the way they've done it, uh, in my opinion, is very unique. So let's just talk about what we've got standard in here, of course. Kitchen island here in the middle. Solid surface countertops. Now standard in the Sabres. I got a flush mount sink cover. Really cool sink here. Kind of a dark stainless versus just a classic uh, regular stainless. And again, dark accent on my faucet. Over here at this wall, a little nook here, you can put a crock pot, pressure cooker, coffee maker, things like that. There's just lots of storage throughout. I can't show every every single cabinet door, but lots of storage just over here, uh, generic storage. Again, outlet there, USB ports for chargers. Monitor panels located here. Um, around the corner is where our touchpad is that controls our jacks, some of our lights, uh, things of that nature built into that. Here's what I consider to be the first pantry. Uh, this is the smaller of the two. You've got a, a full pantry here in a second, you'll see, but uh, great storage here. I'm trying to scoot back and you can see the size of those, but again, that in and of itself is a nice pantry uh, right next to the fridge. The fridge itself, all electric, uh, 18 cubic foot with an inverter. So if you're traveling or lose power at the campground, no problem, you're covered. It's a huge refrigerator in this unit. See if I can open it. Yep. So nice refrigerator, home style, double door below for the freezer area. So a nice refrigerator. Uh, to the left of that, stove and oven, glass top stove cover. Um, so again, if you don't use that, a lot of people don't, you've still got that area to serve and prep food as you need it. More storage below that. Uh, microwave above with, the, with the, uh, the stove hood as well. And then in the island, before we move on, I wanna show you this, you do have storage in the island. So sometimes people put trash cans down here. Uh, it's pretty tall cabin area there. And then of course more drawers there. Now here's where this is unique. Um, at least in my opinion, the half bath is right here. Most of the time, that's where the pantry is, and it, you lose the pantry. Saber still has a pantry in here. So you have a pantry and a half bath uh, in this floor plan. So huge pantry. It's the pantry they use in most of their units. Ceiling to floor storage. 
Got a light in there as well. Uh, just a really nice pantry. To the left of that is our half bath. So your bathroom's in the rear of this unit. You'll look at that in a second. So the reason for this is so that somebody does not have to walk through the master bedroom to the bath. This allows guests to just stay up here, really. So, plus, if you have somebody staying with you, it's kind of like their own suite up here. You're in the back, they're in the front. So toilet, sink, lots of storage, even in here, even in this little half bath. You got tons of storage there. Um, nice little countertop, little subway tile accent behind that. And again, a huge medicine cabinet. So very well equipped half bath. Even has a light, AC duct, and vent in here as well. So that's the half bath. So we've seen the two slides in the living room, the third slide in the kitchen. The fourth slide here is gonna be uh, for your kitchen table. So nice big windows of the kitchen table. You can sit and have a good view wherever you're at. Good design there. Above this, I didn't point this out, ceiling fan and pendant accent lights as well. Going to the back, I'll give you one more look at this before I, before I stop. Here's the kitchen one more time in living room area. So four slides so far we've seen. Going to the back toward the master bedroom and bath. On the left, again, say we're just trying to make good use of space. You've got lots of extra storage here, uh, really just miscellaneous, whatever you want to do with it. Kind of This could be your charging center. Uh, you've got outlets, USB ports. Just, just a nice little nook here that Sabre adds in um, to use that space wisely. So going back to the back, our fifth slide is here in our bedroom. We've got a king bed, accent wall, nightstands on both sides of the bed, windows on both sides, plenty of storage above as well. Second air back here, so there are two airs in this unit, one in the living room and then one here in the bedroom right above me if I can get the camera to tilt. There you go. As far as storage in the bedroom, uh, really nice. You've got two hanging storage closets on either side of this window. There it is up there. You can see the rod. So two of these on either side of this window and then a bunch of drawers. So both sides are pretty much a mirror image of the other. This side has one less drawer, but so lots of hanging storage here in the bedroom. Uh, nice place here for TV. Maybe you wanted to set it here. Um, I don't see a sticker, but I imagine you can, there's a backer maybe in that wall. You might come out it there. Uh, but anyway, a nice window here, just adding some natural light into this room. And then the bedroom. So I love the bed, uh, the bathroom, excuse me. You have barn door to close it off if you want. Awesome, awesome bathroom. Um, huge bathroom, massive shower, two sinks, ton of medicine cabinet storage, way more than what we normally see. Lots of countertop space. We'll go through this in detail in a second. Also, when you walk into the right, you have this closet here. So this could be washer dryer if you want to have a washer dryer in here. It's got a light, I don't think I'm, I've turned it on. There it is, motion light, I didn't turn it on yet. So washer dryer prep, you could put a stack of washer dryer in here, or as it sets, you've got uh, little shelves in here. These do, shelves do take out, you can take them out easy if you want. But you got shelves in here if you want to use it as just additional storage. You've got a closet rod already in it. You can hang clothes in it. Just an awesome, this is a huge closet, whatever you want to do with it, but you could put a washer dryer in it. Just a really nice addition to this bathroom. So besides that, great shower of course, a triple sliding glass shower door, it's got a seat in it. Uh, full plastic tub surround. It's very tall. Maybe if you're a taller uh, customer, this is great for you. you got the skylight in it as well. So plenty of height here. And then just the bathroom itself. Love these big medicine cabinets. You've got uh, two of them back here at the back. And then you've got all of this storage over here to the left. It's just an unbelievable amount of storage. Uh, so four of those. Then you've got just some regular shelving. No doors, you can just put stuff there. You've got this huge countertop. You've got storage there, storage underneath there. It, it's really impressive. Um, again, two sinks, uh, more storage below this. So by far, uh, the bathrooms I see, this is definitely at the top of the list in terms of storage and room. I didn't even point that out, but I wish I could give you an idea. This is very wide. Um, it's easy to get in and out. Maybe some of you, Honestly, you can't move as well or you need more space. This is this is for you. There's a lot of space in here. It's easy to maneuver in here. So just really more of a residential style bathroom uh, because of the way I laid this out. So I like this floor plan if you can't tell. So that is from the back. We're looking from the very back through the bedroom to the front. So that's the interior of this unit. We're gonna go outside and look at some things there. So on the outside, as you walked up, you probably saw this has the more ride step above steps on it. Saber standard feature there. Big grab handle at the door. Electric awning. So it starts right here. 
and goes all the way down. You'll see in a second, well past this slide. Another feature of this floor plan I love, you got an outside kitchen. So on the outside kitchen here, we got a very nice refrigerator. So great size there. Little sink here, it is plumbed in to a tank, so it's not one of those you pull out and have to dump it. Hot and cold water, uh, metal countertop here, we like that, more for durability. Little storage out here too, an accent wall. Just a nice, neat little feature on this unit. You have an outside grill as well, it mounts right here. Four point electric auto level on this unit. Oh, outside speakers, didn't point those out. Those are right there, just inside the awning, you can see those there. On the back, ladder on the back, to roof access, like that option. This is new, they've started doing this. Uh, receiver hitch on the back for put a bike rack, a little storage rack, something of that nature back here. Nice feature, Sabre adding in there. 50 amp service, of course, with our two airs and washer dryer prep. That's just the side of the unit. A little bit of note here. Up here, I want to show you here, a 10 gallon gas electric water heater right there. And then a really nice docking center. So you open this door up and you got all your hookups right here together. Very convenient. Um, TV hookups, water hookups, black tank flush, winterizing valves, all right here. Very nice, neat, organized one location. Great pass through storage. I just passed through. Uh, there's LED lights here. I, I did not turn that on, I forgot. Sorry about that, but it's right there. So you got LED lighting in here. And then, of course, no carpet. We don't want carpet here. Um, be easy to clean out. So great pass through storage. At the front, you may have seen uh, there's a little storage below down there. And then on the front, it's kind of hard to see because it's sunny, but it's got blue. You can see it pretty well. It's got blue accent lighting in the front cap. Looks really cool at night. So 2020 37 FLH Sabre Cobalt Fifth Wheel by Forest River. Five slide front living model. Bath and a half, but it still has a pantry in the kitchen. Huge bathroom, double sinks, washer dryer prep back there, big closet, tons of storage, two airs, auto level. Material Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.